Hi, I don't search for new plugins so much anymore because I have a plugin list that is just a tiny bit shorter than the Nile. But sometimes I stumble upon plugins that I can't resist using. This is one of those. And it's free. It's a free compressor plugin from Analog Obsession called Comper. So if you want a new compressor, you should go and download this right away. If you want to know how it behaves, how it sounds, how it looks, I will show you in this video. So here we have the compressor. Um, it's a normal compressor with the normal controls. We have threshold, ratio, attack, release and makeup. We also have a high pass filter. We also have an input so we can adjust the input into the compressor and a mix. Dry to wet. And then we have three different compressor settings. VCA, FET and Opto. And at first glance, I thought that this was a stereo compressor. So we have separate controls over the left and right, but it's not. It's two compressors in Syria after each other. <laughs> How cool is that? And also we have these different characteristics of compressors. We have a VCA, SSL style, FET like uh, 1176 and an Opto like an 11, uh, LA-2A, I would say. Uh, let's listen to what the compressor is doing and I will show you more what it can do. Uh, we have a drum kit here. This is from the Roger That song of 2021. And without the compressor, it sounds like this. Yeah, it's a live played drum kit. Let's put it on VCA. The makeup I will adjust when I adjust the threshold. Release fastest, attack at about 12 milliseconds, ratio at four and no high pass filter. You can actually see the frequency of the high pass filter when you're scrolling. I will lower the threshold and so we can hear what it's doing. You can hear the pumping effect is coming, but that's typical for a compressor with the threshold this low and also the VCA setting. How does the FET setting sounds with, with uh, these settings? Harder, nastier, just like an 1176. And the Opto? like a rubber band sort of uh, the opto typical for that and then if we want to use different compressors let's say that we use a fet on the first one and i will adjust it to my liking something like that and then we want to uh, glue it more together so we use an opto on the second compressor ratio at um, say three uh, attack slow attack slower re release and then i will adjust the, thre the threshold once again without the compression and with it. But it doesn't end there. Uh, let's take away the second compressor again and only use the first one. And I will lower the threshold so we can really hear the compression. We have it on FET now, it sounds like this. What if we would like a VCA also? Well, just push that button and we have both. How about an opto as well? No problem. Now these characteristics, they work in parallel. So a third of the signal goes to the opto, 
third to FET and third to VCA. If we would have two of those, it will split the signal in two. So we have two parallels. And after that, in serie, comes the next compressor, which we can do the same with. Imagine the possibilities. That's one reason why I like this compressor. And also, we have oversampling. Let's say that we lower the attack on the first compressor here, so we get some distortion. And we want to get rid of aliasing. Just click on the name, Analog Obsession, and we have four times oversampling. Wonderful. I often use two compressors in a row on instruments where I don't want to hear the compression, where I want to even out the dynamics so I have an e more even dynamics when I'm mixing without hearing the compression. So I have two compressors and both take a little bit out of the signal instead of one taking a lot. This compressor is fabulous for that, of course, because it's two compressors. Uh, on vocals, for example, I have a vocal here without compression. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at it's not the most dynamic vocal we have heard, but we can even, even it out a little bit to make it stand on top of the rest of the mix. So let me do some adjustments here. Uh, the ratio I will keep low on the first compression, maybe two and a half-ish. Attack at, yeah, six is good. Fastest re release. I don't need a high-pass filter because it's a vocal doesn't have so much low frequencies then I will lower the threshold until I'm happy. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go I will start to Something like that, 3 or 4 dBs at the most And then an opto to smooth it out even further then I don't want the threshold to be as low, therefore I can raise, raise the ratio to maybe, let's say, 5-ish. Slower attack and slower release. And let's lower that threshold. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go so without the compression, this is going to be subtle, but listen carefully. Without the compression, it sounds like this. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all And with the compression. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough at all I take away about 3 dBs on the first compressor and 2 dBs on the second and the quietest part of the vocal gets fatter without affecting so much the, the timbre of the louder part of the vocals. I really like this compressor. It's not the most characteristic compressor I have, but it's fast to work with and it's two compressors in a row in one plug-in. I like to work fast. That makes me concentrate on the music more. Uh, go and download this. The links are in the description, of course. One thing I wished they could do on Analog Obsession. Oh, I think it's one guy, actually. Uh, what he could do is to have an auto makeup gain when lowering the threshold. That's the only thing I wish for. Otherwise, this plugin is wonderful. Tell me in the comments what you think about this compressor. That makes the signal more even. Even in Swedish, it's German. Jamen. Until next time, Roger that.